Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel today. We are diving into one of the most talked about military breakthroughs of recent years, Israel's new iron beam laser system, a weapon that many experts believe could completely change how wars are fought in the near future. Around the world, drones and rockets have become cheap, fast and deadly tools, and traditional air defense systems are struggling to keep up with the sheer number of threats. This is where iron beam enters the picture, promising instant destruction at the speed of light and at a fraction of the cost of conventional interceptors. Iron Beam is a high-energy laser air defense system developed to counter short range threats such as drones, rockets, mortars, and even artillery shells. Unlike missile-based systems that physically intercept a target, Iron Beam uses a powerful laser beam to heat and destroy incoming threats within seconds. The idea is simple but revolutionary, because instead of launching an expensive missile for every cheap drone, the system fires concentrated energy that costs only a few dollars per shot. To understand why this matters, it is important to look at the changing nature of modern warfare. In recent conflicts, drones have proven how effective they can be, even when used by non-state actors. Small, low cost drones can spy, drop explosives, or swarm defenses in large numbers. Traditional systems like interceptor missiles are highly effective, but they are also expensive and limited in number. When an enemy launches dozens or hundreds of drones, defending against them becomes a financial and logistical nightmare. Iron Beam is designed to solve this exact problem. The laser travels at the speed of light, meaning there is virtually no delay between detection and engagement. Once the system locks onto a target, it can destroy it almost instantly by burning through its structure or critical components. This makes it extremely effective against slow and medium speed threats like drones which are otherwise difficult and costly to intercept. One of the most impressive aspects of Iron Beam is its cost efficiency. Missile interceptors can cost tens or even hundreds of thousands of dollars per launch. In contrast, firing a laser costs mainly electricity, which dramatically reduces operational expenses. Over time, this could save billions of dollars while allowing continuous defense against persistent attacks. This economic advantage alone makes laser weapons highly attractive to modern militaries. Another key advantage is the system's deep integration with Israel's existing air defense network. Iron Beam is not meant to replace systems like Iron Dome, David's Sling, or Arrow. Instead, it complements them. Iron Dome remains highly effective against rockets and missiles, while Iron Beam handles short range and loc, os threats such as drones and mortars. This layered defense approach ensures that each threat is countered by the most efficient and appropriate system. The technology behind Iron Beam has been in development for years, but recent advances have finally made it operationally viable. High-energy lasers require precise tracking, stable power supply, and advanced cooling systems. Even small atmospheric disturbances like dust, rain, or fog can affect laser performance. Overcoming these challenges has been a major engineering achievement and shows how far directed energy weapons have progressed. During tests and demonstrations, Iron Beam has reportedly destroyed drones within seconds, leaving little time for evasive action. The laser's precision allows it to target specific parts of a drone, such as wings, sensors, or propulsion systems, ensuring a kill without causing widespread collateral damage. This precision is especially valuable in densely populated areas, where falling debris and explosions must be minimized. The psychological impact of such a weapon should not be underestimated. Knowing that drones can be neutralized instantly may deter adversaries from relying heavily on drone swarms. When the cost of attack rises while the defender's cost drops, the balance of power shifts dramatically. This could force enemies to rethink their strategies and invest in more complex, expensive systems to overcome laser defenses. However, Iron Beam is not without limitations. Laser weapons require a clear line of sight and are affected by weather conditions. Heavy clouds, rain, or sandstorms can reduce effectiveness. Additionally, lasers are currently best suited for short-range defense and may struggle against fast, long-range ballistic missiles. This is why Iron Beam is part of a broader defense network rather than a standalone solution. Despite these limitations, the strategic implications are enormous. Iron Beam represents a move toward NRG-based warfare, where speed, precision, and sustainability become more important than sheer firepower. 
As energy weapons continue to improve, their range and power will increase, potentially expanding their role in future conflicts. International interest in laser defense systems is growing rapidly. Countries around the world are closely watching Israel's progress as similar threats are faced globally, from protecting military bases to defending cities and critical infrastructure, laser systems could become a standard part of national defense strategies. Iron Beam's success could spark a new arms race focused on direct, dead energy weapons. The development of Iron Beam also reflects Israel's unique security environment. Constant exposure to rocket fire, drone threats, and asymmetric warfare has forced rapid innovation. Israel has often turned necessity into technological advantage, and Iron Beam is a prime example of this approach. It shows how adapting to evolving threats can lead to breakthroughs with global impact. Another important aspect is sustainability. Traditional missile systems require constant resupply of interceptors, which can be disrupted during prolonged conflicts. Laser systems, on the other hand, mainly require electricity. With sufficient power generation, they can operate continuously for extended periods. This endurance makes them particularly valuable in long-term defense scenarios. The future battlefield is likely to see a mix of kinetic and energy-based weapons working together. Iron Beam demonstrates how lasers can handle volume threats, while missiles deal with high al u targets. This combination maximizes efficiency and effectiveness, ensuring that defenses are not overwhelmed by numbers alone. As technology advances, we may see mobile versions of laser systems mounted on vehicles or ships, expanding their deployment options. Naval forces in particular could benefit from laser defenses against drones and small boats. The principles behind Iron Beam could be adapted to protect fleets and coastlines, further extending its influence. From a global perspective, Iron Beam signals a shift in military priorities. Instead of relying solely on destructive force, modern warfare increasingly emphasizes control, precision, and cost management. Energy weapons fit perfectly into this mindset, offering a way to neutralize threats without massive explosions or collateral damage. Critics argue that no single system can guarantee complete protection, and that adversaries will eventually develop countermeasures. This is true, but every advancement changes the equation. Even if enemies adapt, the existence of effective laser defenses raises the bar and complicates attack planning. Defense systems do not need to be perfect, only effective enough to deter or reduce damage. Iron Beam also raises ethical and strategic questions. As weapons become more automated and instantaneous, decision-making cycles shrink. This places greater responsibility on commanders and systems designers to ensure accuracy and control. The speed of light leaves little room for human reaction, making reliable sensors and algorithms essential. Looking ahead, the success of Iron Beam could influence how future conflicts are fought and how nations invest in defense technology. Directed, energy weapons may move from experimental projects to core components of military strategy. This transition will not happen overnight, but Iron Beam shows that the future is already taking shape. In conclusion, Israel's Iron Beam laser system is more than just a new weapon. It represents a fundamental shift in air defense philosophy, focusing on speed, efficiency, and sustainability. By instantly destroying drones and short-range threats at minimal cost, it changes the economics and dynamics of warfare. While challenges remain, the potential is undeniable. As drones and low, Cost weapons continue to spread across the globe. Systems like Iron Beam may become essential for national security. The future of war is not only about bigger missiles or stronger armor, but about smarter, faster, and more precise solutions. Iron Beam stands as a powerful example of how technology is reshaping the battlefield and why the age of laser warfare may have truly begun.